Hey folks, this is Ken, Modern Samurai. Uh, once again, we are in the car, and this is gonna be happening a fair amount for now. Trying to get used to doing these vlogs on a regular basis. Um, mostly just for me right now, we're averaging, I don't know, more than 10, but less than 20 views a video, which is, I suppose, not bad. So to all of you, you know, hey, good to see you. Hit that subscribe button down at the bottom um, just for fun and uh, go ahead and thumbs up the video. We'll see what we can do about building up an audience. In any case, what I wanted to talk about today is what's going on with uh, video production on my computer. So as you know, yesterday was the Red Giant sale and I picked up a bunch of tools. I upgraded my trap code suite and my effect suite and my magic bullet suite, whatever. One of the things Red Giant does is something called Red Giant Universe, which is a subscription service and they push out tools all the time and one of those tools is one I wanted to use on yesterday's video production and it didn't show up in my video editing tools so I got in touch with Red Giant Tech Support and we went through a couple of diagnostics we're still working on how to fix the problem but interestingly enough they called my attention to the fact that my video card is maybe a little low spec for this now when Main Gear built this machine for me which is you know three years ago or, or more maybe maybe more than four years ago um, it was, you know, this video card was, was really sort of top of the line. It's a NVIDIA GTX 680 with two gigabytes of RAM. There was an option for more memory, but, but this is where we came out. But now, obviously NVIDIA has moved on to bigger and better things. And the Red Giant tech kind of pointed out that maybe a video card with more video RAM and better specs might help me out with the video production, which is true. Now that I'm encoding uh, daily and not overnight, it's become apparent to me that my my compression speeds could go up and my, my video performance speed could go. Now the actual computer motherboard and, and GP, uh, CPU uh, is doing okay. One of the reasons I use Main Gear stuff, aside from the fact that they're just great guys I know from, from other contexts, is they keep track of the details that I no longer keep track of. Now, I've been in the computer biz as long as there's been a personal computer business, which sort of dates how old I am. But, you know, I started my career in retail selling Radio Shack color computers and Commodore 64s and then Amigas and STs and then um, into the IBM compatibles. So, look, I've built my share of computers, both professionally and personally. So there was a time when putting together the highest performance computer you could for a reasonable price meant ordering all the parts yourself. And I could certainly do that. I could go to Newegg and I could order myself a parts list. But the question becomes, which parts? Now, I'm a smart guy. I could spend a ton of time digging into it and reading on the forums and sort of becoming an expert on this. But even at that, I wouldn't know all the ins and outs the way the guys at Mangear do. You have to understand that the Mangear guys, they're not just throwing parts together they're constantly evaluating which parts are the best for each other. So maybe a particular motherboard isn't on paper the highest number of everything that ASICS makes and the most expensive, but it might turn out that that motherboard has a fantastic little quirk that works in particular with a particular graphics card, or maybe it can be overclocked better than the more expensive one, or maybe there's a feature that looks really good on paper but isn't really stable or the drivers are horrible. These are, are details that you have to get right. They have to be the right way if you want to have a good price performance mix. And I no longer keep up with that, but I know the guys at Mangear do. So one of the reasons that even in my uh, profession, I've been able to keep using a machine that they built for me two, three, maybe as many as three and a half or four years ago is because they're always picking exactly the right stuff. I have a number of main gear computers, and even the ones I've upgraded from are in use um, for me professionally in one way or another. So I reached out to them, and, and we haven't figured out yet whether I'm gonna replace my machine. Um, this might be the time to do an upgrade or just replace the graphics card, but we'll go back and forth on that a little bit, and I'll let you know where it comes out and what the net effect is on my performance. Now, obviously one of the options is get another big workstation, replace the one I have, move mine over, you know, my current one over to the right a little bit, use it as a render 
uh, box for Adobe Media Encoder and a file server. Though I am also looking at a Microsoft Surface Studio to be the centerpiece of my desk. I'm doing a lot of drafting and drawing uh, concepts and sketches for things for Production Dojo. Uh, and I'm using my Surface Book for that, but having that big screen for the Surface Studio, that might really be the right answer. But as much as I love the Surface Studio, the specs are not amazing for encoding video and whatever. The graphics in it are not full grunt. So, I don't know, I could upgrade the graphics card on the machine I have, move it over to a file server, get the Surface Studio when, it, when I can, and then use like the Surface Studio and use this machine as a render back end. Main Gear has a couple of these great little um, small gamer boxes that are a lot smaller than um, my big workstation, I could probably, you know, I think they have one that has dual video cards. I could put a couple of those together and use that as like a sort of self-contained render GPU outrigger for my Surface Studio and then do something else with the box I have now. I don't know, it's incredibly interesting. I'll let you know in the next vlog how all that turns out, but I'm, I'm sort of relying on them to help me understand what my best options here are and recommend the actual graphics card that I go with. But that's one of the reasons that, you know, I sort of, people consult with me because I take the time to make sure I understand all the ins and outs of all the technology I reckon, you know, recommend. And look, if you're gonna be smart, you let the people that spend all their time making sure that this stuff is dead on. Um, you let them make recommendations and you take their advice. And that's what I'm gonna be doing with these guys. Um, every time I've done it before, it's been spot on. And I'm gonna keep that up. So I will, um, just because, you know, because I like these guys, uh, I'll put a link to Main Gear in the, the bottom of this. It's maingear.com, obviously. And uh, you might wanna check out their Facebook. Um, they've also been doing a lot of video production these days, a lot of vlogs and whatever, and, and them doing it on a daily basis um, is one of the reasons that, that kind of inspired me that I might wanna move out from behind the camera and kind of, you know, see how, see how this goes. Anyway, guys, I'll probably talk to you again. Take it easy and uh, see you next vlog.